Hello everybody, welcome back to another video that will likely be a completely disaster. I'm giving you my fair warning today because I thought that this was going to be a good idea and now I'm currently regretting everything. I consider myself like a hobbyist. I like to do a lot of things and I like to hop from hobby to hobby. I like, I like can pass to do any activity. You know what I mean? So I got the wild idea to try to teach myself an instrument in a day. I guess I thought because I played like a couple other instruments that it would be easy and yeah, now I just, I just am regretting everything. I got a violin. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just to preface, so I actually did play a little bit of violin when I was like eight years old. I played probably for six months and like that was it. And then I picked it up again for a year in fifth grade. That was all. Like I have not touched a violin since I was like 10. So it's been like 10 years. I've always wanted to pick back up the violin. I think it's a beautiful instrument. I think I just underestimated a little bit how different it is from the other instruments that I play. So I do play the guitar, ukulele, which is kind of a given if you play the guitar. And I also play the piano. So the only thing I really feel like I have going for me is reading actual like notes, kind of the same. Other than that though, I don't even know where to begin. So I bought this violin off Facebook Marketplace. I got it for like 30 bucks, which probably means that it's like not that great of a violin. Oh man. That sounds way out of tune. So we have this, which I'm pretty sure is the shoulder pad, if I remember correctly, and then the bow, and then the actual violin. So I'm gonna try to put this on. I'm assuming it goes like this. I feel like that looks right. Right, because your shoulder, you like that? I'm sure people are gonna be coming for me in the comments because I'm not doing this correctly. <laughs> My goal is just to be able to play a simple little song by the end of this, okay, and I'll call it a win. Here we have the bow. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, you hold it like that. That's like my muscle memory. That doesn't sound too bad. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can download an app uh, that helps me tune this, because I already know it's out of tune. Listen to this. Tighten the E string. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Oh. Was that not a Titan? Apparently not. Hey, we got it. Okay, play the A string. Okay, says we're all in tune. No, I'm scared. Sounds like they're in tune. Okay, what next? She, the lady who sold me this gave me like a lot of books and stuff, but even these I feel like are too advanced for me to try to do right now. I'm gonna go with this app and see what it can teach me to do. <laughs> Maybe I should look up like easy violin songs. Amazing Grace. See? That's this. Oh. Okay, so it'll be that. I think some of my strings are a little bit out of tune because one of those notes sounds bad. Violinist, does this look good? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this violin was just like in this lady's basement for years. So, twinkle twinkle little star. Sight red, I have never played this before. I 
and I take a bow. How to not make creaky violin sounds. Oh yeah, these type of sounds indicate the bow hair is not properly gripping and vibrating the strings. I just bought some rosin. <laughs> It'll be here in two days. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> this is difficult. Happy birthday. This is exhausting. Literally. I give my props to everybody who can play the violin because this is harder than guitar. Somebody was just asking me the hobbies I've gotten into over the years so I thought I might as well put a montage in here of what I've gotten into. I started playing piano when I was a kid, then I taught myself guitar when I was like in middle school. I had a huge, huge drawing phase like big drawing phase where I like thought I could draw celebrities and stuff. Got really big into fishing to the point where I bought all the fishing gear and I would fish every single day for years. We did catch and release. Then I got into photography. Um, that one lasted, obviously. I had a huge yoga moment in high school. Had a huge skateboarding and longboarding phase in high school. <laughs> you can't forget the tennis lessons I took for a few months there. Then I started skiing and snowboarding and that literally lasted one season. Like that, I just decided that's not really for me. Got pretty into rock climbing. I bought all the gear again um, and that's one that I've actually stuck with. Now this year I've gotten really into golf. I took a golf class and I golf pretty regularly. And I actually this year just bought tickets to go hike to base camp of Everest next year. So I'm starting to train and actually like really getting into hiking for that. Hopefully that gives you some insight look into why I thought I could teach myself the violin. Let's hope learning to hike is a little bit easier than learning how to play the violin because this is, this is intense. So looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more practice but I think for one day, day one of playing the violin in 10 years, which I don't think it really counts. I was like 10 when I played and like that was so long ago, I don't remember anything. But I think I could say I taught myself to play one song on the violin in one day and that's a win. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you don't know how to play the violin, leave tips in the, in the comments so I can learn, pick up some tips. Don't roast me uh, for my form and whatnot because I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to roast and I am fully aware of that. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.